How we eat changes the world. This is the main topic of the project Food for Tomorrow, organized by the Swedish Institute in cooperation with the Swedish Embassy in Belgrade. On 1st and 2nd of October 2018, a conference, Food for Tomorrow, Fork to Field, was arranged in Zlatibor, in southwest of Serbia. Experts in agriculture, local food producers and local authorities from Serbia were invited to discuss this global topic from a local perspective, that is, from the perspectives of the ones who are producing our food. Many thoughts and ideas were shared on how we need to have a cleaner environment in order to produce better and healthier food for us and for the coming generations. Join the ride and listen to people who can inspire you to take action for Food for Tomorrow. Um, my name is Andrea Stover. I am originally from California, but I live in Stockholm now. I married a Swedish chef, so that sort of shifted me from thinking about sustainability issues to thinking about food and sustainability issues. Um, I was uh, introduced to the concepts of permaculture and regenerative agriculture and I also worked with a co-working space called Impact Hub. So together I combined these ideas and started Stockholm Food Movement and we challenge entrepreneurs to create not only a sustainable food future but also a regenerative one. And the idea of regenerative is that we should repair the damage we've caused in our ecosystem. And we have the best opportunity to do that with food because you can actually increase biodiversity, you can clean water, you can sequester carbon, like take carbon that we've emitted from out of the soil into the air and put it back in the soil where it can do good and help us grow really nutri nutrient dense food that will make our bodies and minds and planet healthy. Uh, so my name is Mats Jonamar. Um, I work at a company called Living Cities, where we work with social sustainability and urban development. And I think for me, um, the realization that food connects so much to the place where you live, that urban development and urban food systems uh, are so integral, um, and also that I have such a personal passion for food, uh, makes it very natural for me to work with this. Uh, for me, Food for Tomorrow is a way of activating different people in different parts of the food system and giving them a platform where they can meet and share ideas and share problems and challenges and also innovate new types of solutions. My name is Aline Tsenzabel and I'm a food tech entrepreneur and founder of Symbiotic Kitchen. Uh, why I'm passionate about food? Because food, I mean, food is something that is present in our lives that we cannot live without and with, with food we have this the power of changing the world like changing the way that we feel the way that we communicate with other people and um, so it's a powerful tool to, to work with. We can produce it in a more uh, sustainable way and uh, consume it also in a more <laughs> sustainable way eating by eating the foods that are good for us that make us feel healthier that make us feel happier and also by serving this type of food for the people and producing this type of food. My name is Albin and I'm 44 years old uh, from Sweden. Um, I always had this idea of moving to the countryside and growing my own food and I also at the same time is very interested in uh, society development and how people can take the responsibility and the power of their own lives. Uh, so I engage pretty much in my local community and then I realize that there are almost the same problems everywhere, the same interests and everything starts with the food as I see it. So uh, that really came natural to me that I started working with my own interest in growing and how we could provide food for for many and find solution for this. Uh, my name is Milica Chalia. I produce oatmeal cookies. 
um, they're called Anjali, which means angels, and maybe that's also the answer to the other question, why am I passionate about food, because um, we have chosen to name angels uh, to show that uh, that kind of uh, food is something that makes you feel good and uh, also does something good to you, like, you know, like angels should. Uh, you really can uh, make somebody happy with food, comfort someone with food, make someone healthier with food. Unfortunately, you can also make someone uh, less healthy with food. And that is why food really, really matters. Our choices uh, of food, of what we eat, really matter. Don't forget, we are what we eat. Thanks for listening. For more inspiration, follow Food for Tomorrow in social media and the hashtag Fork to Field.